told in the 19 years that I've been pastoring this church. I've only buried two folks. Hallelujah, there were members of the church. That's not a bad ratio. Hallelujah, because God has given us life. We are people that are going to live until we're ready to die. Hallelujah, we're going to live. I'm preaching to y'all right now. Hallelujah, I want you to understand this thing. Hallelujah, even though you might not feel good in your body right now, you might have a little ache or a pain. Say amen. 
upon this rock. He said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not be there against it. I want you to touch yourself. Touch your chest right quick. Touch your chest. Mm -hmm. You're what's that? Whatever side you want to touch. But if you touch, take your right hand and get it this way. You, you're touching your heart, man. Close to your heart, all right? <laughs> and tell yourself, whatever your name is, call your name out. Amen? Amen. And say to yourself that nothing shall prevail against me. Okay, now, now I need to call your name out and say it like me. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good, but it was a little weak. <laughs> Don't look at the situation and things that you're going through. Look at what you know God can make take you. Amen. Amen. Now try it again. Because I'm on the rock. And that's where I'm going to stay. Say amen. amen. Now, if you look at the word upon, it is used to indicate a position. And it's a position that's upon and above the condition or circumstance. Or service. I am upon. In other words, whatever's going on in my life right now, I'm above that. But yeah. yeah. so we all got some trouble and some situations. You got to say to yourself, I'm upon that. I'm upon that. <laughs> in other words, Jesus and I got this, okay? Yeah. Do, you, do you declare that? Into the cosmos, into the atmosphere. All right. Now, a pawn used to indicate a position. Up on. Sometimes we take that word and we say, it, we say it lazy. Up on. What? Up on. Say it, man. Next word I want to tell you is this. Everybody say this. Yes. This means the present occasion of time. Everybody say this means, this means the present, the present con occasion, occasion of time. Of time. In other words, right now, this, Amen. this.
see when you're on the glory crowd. You don't worry about what folks do to you. Or say to you. Or look at you funny. Or speak to you or don't speak to you. Stare their nose up if you roll their eyes at you because you're on the glory crowd. Right. I ain't got time for all that foolishness. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Let the church say amen. Because on the glory cloud, I become in love with Jesus. Because on the glory cloud, ain't nobody on that cloud but me and Jesus. I know you probably haven't heard this analogy before, but it's a revelation from God. Hallelujah. I want you to understand something. Take your mind off of your situation, of your present situation, and think of the present occasion of time. Praise God. Church say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say it again. Hallelujah. Lift your hand. Lift both hands. Say, Lord. Lord. Come with me. Come with me. I want to stay. I want to stay. On the glory cloud. On the glory cloud. Hallelujah. Because see, that, <laughs> that will establish you in the glory cloud. It will establish you and I upon the rock. Amen. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you don't just walk up and decide that you're going to get up on something. <laughs> it takes a process. It, it takes progress in order for process. And the more you progress, the greater the process. Hallelujah. I want to be on the rock. And however I can get on the rock, I'm going to get on it. But I love being on the glory cloud. Say amen, church. Now, let's deal with, he said, form this, this rock. Everybody say rock. Say it again. Rock. Say it one more time. Rock. Let me tell you what rock is and I'm going to have to stop. Jesus said a mouthful when he made the statement to Peter. And that wasn't all he said to Peter. Because after he made the declaration of where the church was, then immediately Jesus told Peter that he had the keys to the king. Yes. Oh, come on here. Amen. Whatever he loosed in, in the earth, it would be loosed in heaven. Whatever he bound on earth would be bound in heaven. That's quite a lot of authority. Yes. Are y'all hearing what I just said? Amen. That same authority is given to us today. Yes. Okay. I guess you don't think you can get with that. You can bind what you need to bind and you can loose what you need to loose. Especially if you're up on the glory cloud. And progressing to the rock. We got authority. Tell yourself, I Say this with me. I can walk. I can walk. And loose what I need to loose. And loose what I need to loose. And bind what I 